Everybody, what's up? Welcome to Sasquatch Built Training Videos. This week, I'm going to introduce you to Tim Tawa because I love his swing and how simple it is. But before we do that, you got to go check out our new website, sasquatchbuilt.com, because you're going to get Tim's full story of when I first started with who he was eight all the way to now. He's a junior at Stanford, okay? And I got awesome stuff in there. I got gear, I got content, and a lot of stuff coming at you. Okay, back to Tim. Super cool. Even today, Stanford posted a three-run home run by Tim, and it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to diagnose that swing from that game and also show you a training video of Tim working off the tee, which is fantastic stuff. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Click the link, and I got a lot of stuff coming at you. Here we go. Tim, take us away. Okay, hey guys, take a look at this video. Tim actually shows bunt here because you got runners at first and second. And in this situation, I guarantee you Tim is just trying to move runners, right? So he's gonna get that front foot down and put his body in a good position to be successful. Okay, now unfortunately for the pitcher, he hangs a breaking ball in Tim's wheelhouse and three run Johnny, baby, ding dong, the witch is dead. Good swing, Tim, I love it, okay? But now, next video, you're gonna see Tim off a tee putting himself in a good position to hit. Watch it and enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Sasquatch Built Training Videos. Hey, this week I'm going to really break things down with Tim Tawa. And as you guys just saw, Tim walked off against the Cal Bears, uh, hit a home run in the left field with a very simple swing. And that's kind of what I want to discuss with you guys today. See, now, there's such a misconception uh, out there that it's your swing. But what I'm going to show you guys today, that really, when that front foot lands in your stride, that dictates what the rest of your swing and the result is going to be. Now, yes, of course, you big league guys out there and you guys at a higher level who are super strong can make up for it. But I'm talking to the guys that are just getting starting out and want to put yourself in a good position to hit. There's nobody better than Tintawa who consistently can put himself in a good position to hit. So what I want to show you guys today, okay, so right now, let's just look at Tim. He's balanced, right? His weight is in between his knees, just like we like it. So he's going to stay strong in between here. He's balanced straight across, okay? Now, <clears throat> he like his hands out away from his body. You know, wherever you start your swing, I'm totally cool with, right? Because as I'm going to show you is when your front foot lands is what kind of position are you in to hit? That is going to be the biggest key to your success, especially at the youth levels. Okay, let's watch him. Okay, as he loads up on his backside, you're going to notice a back pinch right here. Boom. Okay, he's going to pinch his back hip. He's basically going to be knee to knee and he's going to load up. This is a very, very, very simple load. Okay, so now when he reaches out and that front foot lands on his toe, okay, his knob right here, okay, let's make a little arrow here, okay, is at the catcher's mask. Okay, he has a good angle to his bat. So when he goes to go, when his barrel goes through bat drag, he's going to put himself in a position to hit. Okay, now I know a lot of you guys are like, I need to stack up. I need to have this big open stance and throw my body into the ball to get power. That's just such a misconception on where power comes from. Okay, now as you're going to notice now in the next swing, um, Tim, when his front foot lands, let's see what kind of position that he is in the hit right there. Boom. Okay, he's super balanced again, just like when he started. His hands are in a position to be successful, get on plane. All right, and he's connected to his body. Okay, he's still maintaining his triangle right here. Boom, we got a nice little triangle right there. Okay, as you're going to see, he's going to keep it all the way through his swing. Now, the next thing that's going to happen is Tim's going to go right knee down. Okay, boom, that right knee is going to start it. Boom, he's going to hit up against a firm front side. Head down, palm up, palm down. Look at his head position, everything. Now, Tim's so explosive from this position, right? His back foot comes off the ground. Don't expect your back foot to come off the ground yet okay but when you start getting a lot of energy coming through that zone hitting up against that firm front leg your back foot can come up off the ground okay then he's going to get way through extension and then he's going to finish balance okay and everything's going to be lined up perfectly right here but the biggest thing i want you guys to see right here is nothing can get started okay unless you land in this position right here boom with his front foot up right now you can throw fastball in you can throw fastball away change up curveball it doesn't matter because tim's in a balanced position he hasn't committed yet okay now we're going to listen in on tim on his thought process next on what he does in his mind and how he prepares just to hit off a tee and get a tee workout in thanks for watching 
Well, right now I'm doing low T. It's something that's helping me uh, keep my bat in the zone as long as possible. Something last year I felt like I struggled with a little bit, so I got a little more out in front than I would usually do. It's a little low pitch, so it's really keeping me through the zone as long as possible. So this is what I'm working on right now, along with just feeling comfortable, feeling that hip load too when I'm getting there and, and making sure that I'm not, I'm not leaning too much for the ball. I'm standing, get my arms to it, and then extending. That's fantastic. Go ahead and rattle one off. That was such good advice on just how to take an approach to the tee in training. I appreciate your swing today. Good luck this season. Peace!